Live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri, he is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable KSM. The KSM Show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. We're back. We're back. We're back. And this is a very special show for me, man. Actually, I shouldn't say very special for me. I said three very. It is a very, very, very special show for me, man. Give it up, man. <laughs> it's a very, very, very special show for me for, for two reasons. Two main reasons. There's a major reason and there's a minor reason, okay? The, the minor reason is that our president talked to us. Show some love, man. <laughs> And the president gave us a word that we can never forget. Shall let me tell you something. Have you been to Bakola lately? When you go to Bakola, you realize that everybody is complaining about prices. It won't a Bakola. Because it's a siren, you know. Because when they hear the prices, they get shocked. So either they're saying, hey, wow, wow, wow. And now we say, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, so Ujian Chen is like a siren, man. All he hears, wow, 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 hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Thanks for the high prices in Ghana. It's a siren in Makumba. Show some love, man. <laughs> and check this out. Why they are making all that noise? It's very, very troublesome. Do you know why? Because the president has told us, eh? She can't pay the day. Give it up, She can't pay the day. So when you're doing, hey, 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 wow, 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 hey, my sister, you know, muha sikano, ntina sikano mano, sikam pede de, give it up, man. <laughs> well, well, that was my minor reason. This is my main reason why I'm so excited today. Today is a reunion. I'm reuniting with my son. My son, you all know when I introduce him, because, ah, say your ba, yes, he's my son. He went through a bit of, for two years, he was going through Wahala. I'm putting it very, very, very charitably. He was going through Wahala. Some even said, oh, and your Wahala is a mental problem. Those that were insulting him on media, social media did it. Oh my blasting, the blasting with all the vim they had. But thanks to God, my son survived all this Wahala and all these blastings. And you believe it, today he's here with us, man. Yeah, so yeah. And so I have the pleasure to invite my son. We're going to sit down and chat about his story. Ladies and gentlemen, your friend is Yabwatiyo, but many of you don't know. The name that you know is Funny Face. Show some love for Funny Face. <laughs> my man. Hey. My son. My son. My son. Oh, good to see you, man. Good to see you, One more time. <laughs> Please, Thank the you. chair is yours. Thank you. Show some love for Funny Face, man. Wow. You know, Funny Face is with us, man. We're going to go into a small commercial break. Mr. Mopen, them. You want to hear him. In the end, Chakra, small commercial break. And when we come back, Mr. Yabwating, a.k.a. Funny Face, is in the house. I'll be right back. The KSM Show. Okay, folks. Now, here's the thing. You cannot control accidents. You cannot control tragedies. You cannot control any unforeseen circumstances. You can't control them. But once they occur, you have the means to address them. And the only way you can do this is through a proper insurance. Whether it's fire, whether it's, pardon me to say, death, whatever it is, if you have the adequate insurance, you're protected. So SIC is telling you, you're all welcome for any, any problem that you might have, SIC is a solution. So make sure you are insured with SIC. Hey, what? Go left, left, come, come. Straight, straight, straight. Push up. Uh -huh. Hey, 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 hey. 
Oh, sorry, madam. I know, I know, see him. You, you, you kept asking me to come back. You can't control what will happen, but you can control how you respond to what happens when it happens. Welcome to SIC Insurance. At SIC Insurance, we are always ready to come to your aid when the unfortunate happens. Call us today for your motor, accident, fire, burglary, travel insurances and more. Or visit our website or any of our branches nationwide. SIC, our promises are sacred. Okay, young folks, are you between the ages of 18 to 30? I am looking for young men and women. There's an amazing course happening at Cactus Creek on web design. It is a free web and graphic design training program. And you're going to learn so many things, including intro to web and graphic design, practical training in web and graphic design tools, effective communication skills, and how to build a client base. All of this coming to you for free for young men and women and the place is at Cactus Creek. And if you want to register, send your email to info.cactuscreek at gmail.com. Info.cactuscreek at gmail.com. Located in the... Numbers are 0302 955 432 or 0302 965 Four six zero. The best decision you'll ever make. Welcome home. Pulse Fitness Center, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Meet the indefatigable captain. There are three things that I love doing. Number one, workout. Number two, workout. Number three, workout. Workout put mind, soul, and body together. The captain has spoken. busy. Bright lights, yeah, they make me dizzy. Logo Liggy. I just want the Lizzy. It's a Logo Liggy. Uptown chasing for the Lizzy. Downtown, everybody busy. Logo Liggy. Life be Logo Liggy. I just want the paper. Paul's Fitness Center, yeah. East Ligon Branch, Lizzie Sports Complex, I Cotton really Street, East Ligon, Accra, Ghana, 0302 519675. Kumasi Branches, Officers oh. Mess Branch, Denyame, Major Kobina Drive, Kumasi, 0541 871 602. Golden Tulip, Kumasi City Branch, Rain Tree Street, 0322 492 647. Paul's. The premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Say what lie we for on town. Most of you are loving my jacket. Mr. Sao. Hey, me rough. Hey, me for rough. The jacket is provided by Asepa Essentials. So if you want some, this is the number to call. 0209-059-215. So call Asepa and get yourself a pretty decent jacket. The KSM Show. We're back, we're back, we're back. And, and even before I start, I'd like to talk about two expressions that were made popular in the lexicon of Ghana language. One of the bio, number one, I got my swag on. <laughs> <laughs> so as I talk to you today, Charlie, KSM, I got my swag on. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one, oh, we read a few. <laughs> Don't worry, my swag is 66. But later on, I remember and I'll tell you. But let's forget all about it, Charlie. I have in the house today my son, somebody I love so much, and he's back here. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Show us one more time for Funny Faye. <laughs> my father. Funny. My father. Funny, funny. It's a long story. <laughs> 
It's a long story. I tell you. It's a you long have, story. You have to sit down. One day I'll come home. You put calabash. You put pito. Then we talk proper. To go back to tradition. Wow. And talk. Then we talk. Yeah. Thanks a lot for that. Man. Let, 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 honestly, let, let me tell you something. When I, when I call Funny Face, I want to have a chat with you. You see, Funny Face, let's do a Zoom. You know, it's okay. We can just do a Zoom. You know what Funny Face said? I said, Daddy, Pacho, with all respects, menu and your Zoom as I want to be one on one. Yeah, so it's here today. Funny. We say, just Zoom as him, Yes. Yes. I just need to sit down with you and talk. Yeah. And Please. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. And for those of you who are not aware, this is the first time I'm filling in. A, I'm filming at Cactus Creek for a long time. Funny face, about, so I had to move here. Yeah. So, funny face, yeah. Charlie. Yeah. We know you. We know funny face. Yeah. Child president. Yeah. You, you have a history with us. Yes, daddy. You know, mm -hmm. uh, choco trot yeah. cow and chicken, whatever yeah. you call it. Yeah. We know yeah. funny face. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, yeah. there was like a nosedive. Yeah. Very quickly. Charlie, yeah. what, what happened? Daddy. Uh, I would say it's life. In life, sometimes you get hit so hard by mm. tragedies or issues. You can't have a smooth ride in life. If you understand life like that, you begin to... Bump. There's no smooth ride in life? No, 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 no. You, at one point in your life, you, you go into a ditch. Mm. It's up to you how you bounce back. Even though most people can't bounce back that easily. Mm -hmm. But it takes God's grace and to bounce back. And, yeah, to bounce back. And by His grace, you are back. Keep it up for him, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. So funny, let, let's continue. Somewhere along the line, I should say, you go into a ditch. Yeah. Without yeah. going into things that will implicate anybody yeah. or anything. Yeah. What ditch did you fall in? I fell into the ditch of depression. Ditch of depression? Yeah. I would say extreme depression. When you can't differentiate between right and wrong. You're just going. Like you just want to... That's interesting. Hold on. You can't differentiate between right and wrong. Yeah. Which means uh, everything you do in your mind is right? No, no, no. You, you feel, you yourself, you know that some of the wires are not connecting. Mm. There's a blue wire and a yellow wire. Yeah. You, you'll be here, t -t 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 no, it's not connecting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not connecting. Yes, you are not getting things right. You, you know, especially if you know yourself that much, and you know that this is not you. You know that. So you yourself going through that crisis, mm. now what was telling you, this is not funny. Yeah, so, you know it wasn't you. Yes, but you couldn't help it because if you don't talk that that you are, let's say you are engulfed so much in pain, bitter sorrow, you just need to you just need to vent. You need to rant. You you just have to. You talk. have used pain. You have yeah. used bitter. Yeah. You have used sorrow. Yeah. So all these three things you were going through. Yeah, all these three things. Sorrow alone is not easy. Bitter alone is not easy. And pain, although it's not easy. Mine, all the three joined together. Mm. That it wasn't easy. Wow. It wasn't easy. I have to fight pain, I have to fight sorrow, sorrow. I have to fight bitterness. Wow. Yes. So so let me ask this. So you, you're going through whatever the events were. Yeah. And they brought you pain, sorrow, bitterness. Yeah. At that point, were you thinking, how can I resolve this pain, sorrow, bitterness? Or you were too engulfed in the I was pain. So much engulfed in it, I just wanted to die. You wanted to die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to die and leave this world. I, I'm tired. I couldn't fight anymore. I just wanted to die. And whatever they say, no, they say there is peace after death. And I came to strongly believe. And you see, there's one thing about depression. When it gets you to the point of the, uh, suicidal, when you become suicidal, there is nothing that you think about again. No? Mm. And that time, it has already rendered you as a failure, as a useless person. That's so you, you, you felt you were a failure. Yes. You felt you were a useless person. Yes. Especially, really? Yeah, yeah. And so you had failed, basically. Yes. You know, I love kids. I'm so I know you love crazy kids. about children. Yeah, call it the child's president, children's, yeah, children's president. president. Yes, daddy. I was so, so it was like I've sacrificed all my life for the happiness of people's kids. Mm -hmm. I got to my turn to make my children happy. And God has blessed me with at least twin, twin girls. Yes. So I was so much crazy about it. Like I, I love them more than anything. They became the center of my world. Mm. And that is very dangerous. At no point in a man's life, and this is an advice to anybody watching us today, this day, don't ever make anything the center of your life. Wow. Even your children. Because when they are no more there, it will affect you. Mm. Yeah, when they are no more there, it will affect you. And I'm speaking from 
an angle of somebody, uh, let, let me say, young sorry, Kaka, from the church and release a living testimony. I know what I'm saying. Hmm. If you make some, something the center of attraction, the focus point of your life, and that thing is no more there, it will take you to a place you will never wish. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it took, it took, because I had plans for them. Mm -hmm. I had, you know, how to I build their brand, Ella and Bella. I wanted them to be happy. You know, I had more crazy ideas for them. And then all you of a sudden, they were lost them. me. And I couldn't grasp the idea. This is the whole thing of them not being with me. Mm. So the thing, depression made me feel, you failed. Wow. Yeah, you are children president. Children love all the you. children love you. All the children love you. Now you have your kids. And even your own uh, kids. You, yeah, two kids. That was good. You couldn't maintain, you couldn't handle them. They are no more with you. But so you're a failure. Yeah, and, and that's how depression it will play on your mind. The one is start playing that thing on your mind. Oh, what failure? And that's why people say depression is spiritual. Where it begins to control you. Yeah, you feel what you hear when you look, 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 what failure? You actually hear voices teasing you. What failure? What failure? Look, oh, oh, man, oh, eh? That kind of thing. Wow. When, and especially when you see somebody, somebody in the kids. My way, girls. So when I, especially when I see girls, like the age of one, two, three, four, that kind of age. That triggered it. I, I can't. And so you'll be hearing voices at the time say, yeah. What well, well, Who? Man way. Oh, man way. You couldn't, you, all your life. That you almost 19, 20 years in the game. And let's say majority of my life, like 15 years of my if for kids, making people should not be going to places, getting kids happy, going to kids' events, every now and then. My man was about making children happy. And you couldn't handle yours. You couldn't have access wow. to Wow. So, so at that point, you felt like a total failure. Yes. Went me, me, my yes. And then it, made you, it, made, it makes you useless. It makes you feel useless. Like, oh, dear, no one. You've been in need of See, first, which you mean, more more energy. Yeah. You all your kids. All your programs are designed for kids. Yours, twin girls, you couldn't? Oh, come on. Where are you living? I'm going to kill yourself. Let's go. Yeah. So you actually had the urge to kill yourself? Daddy, be be I have tried it. I couldn't. I've gone to a place where they sell poison. I've they sell the poison. poison? Yes, I've bought a poison. That quick one, that sharp one. So the one says 80 cities. I said, okay, no problem. I was having my last 100 cities with me. So I gave the woman the 100 cities. But what made me know I was not ready to die is I was waiting for the 20 cities change. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 <laughs> funny, funny. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> you are ready to kill yourself. Yes. The, the thing was 100 uh, to 80 cities. Yes. And you gave them 100. Yes. And you realize you're not ready to die because you're waiting for your change. 20 cities change. <laughs> and I was wondering if I was going to use it to pay a uh, gate fee to have you or. The, but you wanted your 20. I, I, I was waiting to take the 20 cities. That means I was not ready. <laughs> wow. So there were little things wow. that was wow. bringing my mind to that, Charlie, don't do this. Don't do, you, if you do, if you kill yourself, if you commit suicide today, look at it from this angle, front page. Funny face commit suicide. You've, you've, you've killed the dream and the aspiration, the admiration. How kids you as a mentor. The children of Ghana, you've let yes. everybody down. Wow. When I commit suicide, how would you, and the kind of brand you have, a lasting brand for years. And because you love children that much, yours are no more with you. You couldn't stand the wow. test of time. And not to cut you off, because mm -hmm. I remember passing by your children's festival you did at the Fasada Lodge. Yeah. It was millions of children who yes. came to see you. Yes. They were mm -hmm. so excited. Yeah. And I remember one time you came to visit me. Yeah. And we were going somewhere. And yeah. he said, oh, you saw some kindergarten. He said, oh, let's pass by. Let me go and say yeah, hi to them. Yes. And we went to the, to the school. Yes. And there was pandemonium. Yes. From the headmaster to the youngest child. Yes. Yeah. Just so happy to see funny face. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the been... children. Yeah. And I... so you got to the point where you realized that if all children love me and I can't be there for my children, there, there's no point. There's no point. Yes. Because I wanted to, you know, I had plans. Yeah. Everybody have plans for his, his or uh, uh, kids. So I had plans for them. I had dreams. Like, and so it came too sudden for me. I couldn't handle it. Mm. I just couldn't handle it. Say, was that, even when, I think when they were in their, their mother's room, I used to hide them that much. So before they were born, everybody knew about Ella and Bella. Everybody knew yeah, about them. You were them. talking about them. Yes. I was so excited about the whole thing, about them. So 
Ya fa se brom ko en bibia. Then again, coming back to church, God should be your utmost priority in life. God. Mm. Mm. Make God the center of your, your life, not human or not mm. any don't objectify things to be the center of your life because when that thing is no more there. Yeah, yeah. You you say I feel perfectly say we need to be yes. That's what so I went down, 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 down to depression. Let me say if depression is gonna say like but it's I have gold. <laughs> <laughs> I have big big wow. and big and big that like depression gold. Wow. <laughs> wow. So my son eh, Daddy. You you were depressed, you were suicidal. Yeah. And it started affecting your behavior, of yes, course. Yes. You were giving left and right to people Everybody. that you know and respect. Yeah. Yes, was it part of the depression? Yeah, the, that's what I'm saying. Depression makes you don't think straight. You why already the thing has rendered you as a failure. Mm. You want to die. If we are to when you so let me repeat. The thing has rendered you as a failure. You want to die. If you are not when you so three things. Not forgetting that already you are in pain. Mm -hmm. You are bitter. Yes. You are sorrowful. Yes. So when all this, you can't handle it, Daddy. I said they took me to psychiatric. One man who has been there seven years. He looked at me. He said, My brother, my case is worse. By yours, it will take you 21 years. <laughs> <laughs> he died, for him, this, that this was a patient at the psychiatric yes. ward. He looked at you and said, He, he has a worse condition. Yes. But yours is. If he, Whoa, what do I bet you? Every money is saying, oh, we better check our papa. Because for them, they can compare the years to yours. They, see, they, they know that yours is too much. You've passed the, their stage. And today, to God be the glory, I left. I'm up back again using mental health to educate the youth and everything. And he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called him. I said, yeah, I'm checking on you. He said, don't check on me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Wow. Let, 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 let me rewind a bit. Rewind, daddy. Yeah. Uh, before you went to the psychiatric hospital, mm. did you, I know you were depressed, yeah. and I know you were going through hell and everything. Mm. Did you ever think that maybe yeah. it is affecting you mentally, so you yeah. need to check in? Yeah. What 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 motivated you motivated you to check in into the psychiatric the hospital? The very day I went off on Adibayo, Father Dixon and Bulare. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Yes. You went off on them. Yeah, proud to that. The, before I went on them, my manager who has been with me for 16 years, 16, 17 years, when we were kids before. Uh, oh, your manager has been with you that long? Oh, all these years. And he has been talking to me, I didn't listen. He has been telling me, listen, calm down. Get too excited about selling things I was saying. Calm down. I didn't listen. He has been told, I didn't listen. So he was he's the first person I went off on. We went off on your manager. So he knew mm -mm, something was wrong. So he told Bola, mm, my man. So Bola sent fire. the Range Rover, yes. And they came to pick me to um, Kualibu. So I went to check on Bola sent the uh, car to yes, pick you up. Yes, his personal yeah. Range Rover. Yeah, they came to pick me, myself and my manager. We went there and the doctors. So I think they gave Bola. They told Bola that your boy. He's gone. Mm, he's or going, he's going. He's going gradually. No, that time he's going. He's going gradually. Yeah. <laughs> when, when he was gone was the day I insulted father Bola and Adebayo. That day, I was gone. You remember what you said about them? I came back, my manager played a tape to me. I couldn't watch. I cried. I really? Cried. Yeah, I cried like three days, non-stop. Yeah, yeah, go. You won't believe the fact that you said this. You saying this about your people, mm -hmm. like they are your men, mm -hmm. like your men. And, you know, like Bola, when I came back, I was spoken to Bola. And myself and my manager went there. Bola, there. he knows because they told him earlier. Mm. You know, so Bola... Said no, he's happy about it. Like my come back alone is good. It's fantastic. And, and, and we went to visit father too, but he was not there. We, we, so you haven't had a chance to see father since. Yeah, when we came, when we went there, myself and my manager, he was he wasn't there. So, but he knows. That's why I'm saying that deep within them, they know. The funny we've known all these years, this is not him. This is not him. Yes, yeah. Adibai, for instance, like he laughed about it. He know no, this is not the boy. I know. So are you? Are you? Have you spoken with them since? Yeah, when I came back, with my manager linked up with them. We tried to communicate it. But you see, it, it, it it's time. Everybody and how they deal with when you say something to somebody and it's painful. Everybody and how they deal with pain. Yeah. Some it will take time. Yeah, yeah. It will take time. I like them to heal. Yeah, allow them to heal. Like cause yours, 
Yeah, like I came out almost a year and two months now. I'll be quiet. I don't know if I've laid low. Quiet. Because now I have different perception about life. I see life differently. So I understand. Obviously, it will take time for them to heal. But mm. Bola went to Bola. Bola. Because Bola, the doctor told him earlier. Mm. So he knows that. This was understood. Yes. Yeah. So he's saying, no, this name so good. So, but then, then again, also, when it happens like that, you, there's that, like, they arrest something, or you can't stop begging and stop apologizing. Mm. When deep within you, you know it's not you, and you did certain things. So then again, I'll use your medium again to say sorry to Father Dixon Bolare. I have apologized to them countless times. Mm -hmm. But every platform I get on to say, you repeat again, the then apologies. Again, yeah. So I, my soul feel at ease. I, I know I'm cool. Mm. Yeah, so I want to apologize to them again for going off on them. Mm. At that time, it was not me. At that time, I was not thinking straight. Mm. At that time, I didn't even know what I was doing. When mm. I came back, my manager played the video. And I so you, say, the video is when you actually saw the first time what you said about them? Yeah, yeah. Like now I have understanding, I have clarity of things. Mm. Now the fog is lifted out of my eye. I can see things clearly now. I can understand things clearly now. Mm. From, f I can, from your perspective, I understand how you feel. From my perspective, I understand how I felt during that time. But most of them, 99% was in me. You, you, you schooling, mm -hmm. you abuchi, so you understand. Mm -hmm. Depression can make mm -hmm. people do crazy stuff that they are not aware themselves. Mm. So were you aware of the happenings around you, though? The, the, there were people that took to social media yeah. and tore you up, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. And, and were, were you familiar with some of these things? Were you reading them? Were you being told? What, that, how that, 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 that was the first fight between me myself and my manager. You and your manager? Yeah, he wanted me to stop reading them. Oh, you were reading them? Yes, I was reading them. And they wanted you to stop? Yes, he wanted me to go off social media. And I didn't, that time I, don't, I didn't have clarity. Uh, he so wanted to go off. And by, by the way, folks, um, next week I'm talking to the manager. He's going to come here with Funny Face. I want to chat with him. Show him some love anyway before he comes here. <laughs> you know. He, he, he showed love as a manager and was with his funny face throughout all of this. So yeah. let, let me go back. So he was telling you, just yes, st yes, stay off social media. Yes, yeah, stay off social media. Don't go online. Don't talk. Don't. But I didn't understand. I, at that time, you see, you are so depressed to the extent that you want to explain yourself. Mm. And that's. Today, let me give. Um, let me say if depression is a subject like I'm a teacher. I don't know what you are going through in the house watching myself and my daddy today. But when you, whatever you are going through, if you feel like explaining it to somebody, any small thing, you want to explain yourself, that's the first sign of depression. You are depressed. Hmm. If you feel like explaining yourself to everybody, at the, at the point of my era, I was explaining myself to everybody. Yeah, explaining yourself to people. Look, I'm thinking, six, six, seven years old. Let, let, I said, listen, let me tell you something. One seven years old, I was explaining myself to her. I saw him, my mommy can't see me. Wow. I don't know why I wouldn't come. I go, hey, 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 open to mommy, give me more. You were in two of the school fees. Huh? Then I realized everybody had their level of hair. I was all oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chana, it's getting so great, man. Let's take a commercial break. When we come back, my son, funny face in the house, we'll be right back. The KSM Show. Okay, folks. Now, here's the thing. You cannot control accidents. You cannot control tragedies. You cannot control any unforeseen circumstances. You can't control them. But once they occur, you have the means to address them. And the only way you can do this is through a proper insurance. Whether it's fire, whether it's, pardon me to say, death, whatever it is, if you have the adequate insurance, you're protected. So... SIC is telling you, you're all welcome for any, any problem that you might have. SIC is a solution. So make sure you are insured with SIC. Hey, wait. Go left, left. Come, come. Straight, straight, straight. Push up. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, oh, sorry, madam. I know, I know Siam. You, you, you can't ask me to come back. You can't control what will happen, but you can control how you respond to what happens when it happens. 
Welcome to SIC Insurance. At SIC Insurance, we are always ready to come to your aid when the unfortunate happens. Call us today for your motor, accident, fire, burglary, travel insurances, and more. Or visit our website or any of our branches nationwide. SIC, our promises are sacred. Okay, young folks, are you between the ages of 18 to 30? I am looking for young men and women. There's an amazing course happening at Cactus Creek on web design. It is a free web and graphic design training program. And you're going to learn so many things, including intro to web and graphic design, practical training in web and graphic design tools, effective communication skills, and how to build a client base. All of this coming to you for free for young men and women and the place is at Cactus Creek. And if you want to register, send your email to info.cactuscreek at gmail.com. Info.cactuscreek at gmail.com. Located in the calm green hill. Make your reservation. We have some new numbers. And the new numbers are 0302-955-432. Or... 0302-965-460. The best decision you'll ever make. Welcome home. Pulse Fitness Center, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Meet the indefatigable captain. There are three things that I love doing. Number one, workout. Number two, workout. Number three, workout. Workout put mind, soul, and body together. The captain has spoken. Bright lights, yeah, they make me dizzy, logo liggy. I just want the lizzy. Uptown chasing for the Lizzie. Downtown, everybody busy. Logo Liggy. Like me, Logo Liggy. I just want the Paul's Fitness Center. Yeah. East Ligon Branch. Lizzie Sports Complex. Really Cotton Street. East Ligon. Accra, Ghana. 0302 519 Kumasi Branches. Officers oh. Mess Branch. Denyame. Major Corbina Drive. Kumasi. 0541 871 602. Golden Tulip Kumasi City Branch. Rain Tree Street. 0322 492 647. Pulse. The premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Most of you are loving my jacket. I am if a rough. The jacket is provided by Asepa essentials. So if you want some, this is the number to call. 0209-059-215. So call as a pa and get yourself a pretty decent jacket. The KSM Show. We're back, we're back, and I'm here with my son, Funny Face, and my goodness. Um, just before we left off, he was talking about the first sign you see for you to know that you are depressed is when you start explaining yourself to people. Mm -hmm. Funny, what's it? You're explaining yourself to seven years old. Oh, little kids, yeah, little kids. What are you explaining? Say, I wanted them to hear me out. Okay. I was gone. I don't even know the child you explain yourself to. 
He doesn't have an understanding. He, he won't oh. get you. But I didn't care. I just wanted somebody to hear me out. Wow. Yeah, I was explaining myself to the chat. Tell me, funny. Me, I said, you're trying to be so. Many black brain. No. And now do I say, I said, so sorry, sorry, don't go. But then again, uh, people, I love Ghanaians for one thing. Ghanaians can insult you to correct your lifestyle. Mm. What they, was the worst insult you had? Oh, or there were too many to remember. I, 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 the, the one I had was, this boy wouldn't make it to see his kids alive. He wouldn't do what? He wouldn't make it. To see his kids alive. To see his girls grow. Wow. Yeah, that night it was bad. I sent the guy a message. I said, people have insulted me. You are, you are a winner. <laughs> <laughs> he is a top of all the insults. me for me to feel it. Wow. He said, this guy, looking at this guy, he won't make it. Really? Then it was so clear that this guy can come out of it. It was so clear. Everything was about my manager believed. He kept calling people. He kept apologizing to people. So that when saw somebody go and apologize, he said, I know it. Please. This is wow. Not him. Please forgive him. This is not him. I know him. You, you know him funny all these years. Is that how he is? I mean, I sent you several messages. Oh, that's one for me. Well, I didn't okay. want to. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything to you. <laughs> At least yeah. you gave me the response. I wouldn't yeah, see my Tembia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, but. It triggers at any time. Mm. So if you had messaged me at the wrong time, I yes, say, hey, you're giving it to my, me. My brother, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you understand? Yeah. I yeah. remember um, that particular insult that the guy said is that this guy will make it alive to see his girls grow, going on, going through all these things, and lose your life not to see your girls grow. The most painful thing. This boy is a very foolish boy. Mm. You understand? Mm. Damn. He has. So this is it. Now, when people insult you, you can take it positively or, or negatively. negatively. Most of the insults are negative. But me, during that time, going through it, initially, it was negative to me. I was seeing the negative side until I began hmm. to see the positive, of, of positive side of these things. What the guy said, switch it around. Why don't you fight it? Fight through mm, it. Mm, and mm. let your girls grow and tell them your story. Mm. Let them be proud. Let them... Wow. Let them, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let, let them come see these things on social media and go like, wow. He went through went this? Through all this, fought back, and became such a person again. They'll be so proud of you. So I turned that insult to a positive one. Fantastic. Yes. Show you some love, man. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Yes. wow. You went through a lot. That I mean, the police picked you up. You went through jail. Oh, Ghana police. Let's give me a little bit of bless Ghana police. They are the best when it comes to beating depression out of you. <laughs> Ghana police. They, they beat depression out of you. I'm telling you. And shout out to IGP. I've named him. Now his new name is not anymore IGP Dampari. His nickname is Wabodama Ebetuwemi. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. A friend say, what Bodama, a better way No, IGP's new name is what Bodama, a better way to They will put you in check. You know, he came to speak to me. He came to speak to you? Yeah, at the police hospital. You know, the one on one? Yes. At the hospital? Yes. And not just him, he came with big, big policemen. COO, DOP, CPP, and this, MPP. Uh, all everybody. Oh, everybody. GPQ, GPT. All the big men in police who are post. They came. The last, yeah, the state. All of them came because they know you. You are not like wow. this. Wow. And see you go well. But see, people will see you go away well, but you won't see it. Mm. No, 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 no. You will see it. Me, the last part of it was when I, my, my, during that fight, I blocked my manager. I you blocked him? To him. Yeah, they then insulted Father Bola and Adeba. I blocked him. And I insulted that. I have insulted him already. <laughs> but I renewed his contract. I, I, I insulted him. You renewed already. his contract? His insult contract. New one again. That was when he replied me. You are just a fool. That's what he told you. Yeah, you are just a fool. By the time you realize, your girls will be ashamed of you. And you see, when you use my girls, it I affects said, you. It was aha. Uh -huh, I'm sure was, he knew that. Oh, he know everything about me. He 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 he, 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 that one, he, that one, he wrote all that one, other ones in capital letters. <laughs> but my girls, he wrote this small letter. Say your girls will be ashamed of you one day. Foolish boy. Wow. The foolish man confirmed the other guy's insult. I beg you. I beg you, help me. So you wrote I want to him. I go to psychiatric, help me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I won't mind you. I said, if you won't mind me, you are the last option. I will insult you again. Oh. <laughs> he said, the insult became like a weapon to me. 
Sadly, nini? Ati, you don't see. I said, where brass? Is this brass or gold? You don't. Yeah. I see this being gold or brass or something. I will see that's diamond. Nothing will change my mind that is diamond. Wow. But he knows that this boy that he I knows, know, yeah. So he knows my weapon. He was giving me the punches. One, one, one. He give me boom, boom, boom. I don't know what I give me one punch. I said, this one you went too far. He said, he said, oh, so now you're coming back to me. <laughs> you, know, you are going far. You know, I, I've gone Wait, far. Which point? Which point did you feel there with Okoro? He, he told me that one day. Your girls will stand on your grave and say, say I'm ashamed of you, daddy. Oh, wow. That punch that hurts. Deep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was not calling him, oh, but daddy, I called him. I called him and said, bro, I insult you, you insult me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are like this. Now, nah, let's see. This insult is too personal. <laughs> Cease fire, I beg you. Wow. This is too low. Wow. And he said, then he, he said a smile emoji, he smiled. <laughs> This guy know what he was doing. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. So this is not what he was doing. And and so when I said the following day he called me, he said, Are you okay now? And that was the very first time that night I didn't cry, I was thinking. So he called and said, I'm ready to go to psychiatry. Wow. I said, Yeah, I'm ready. He said, You will go. If that punch didn't come, you won't go. You will go. So we made arrangements. Wow. Show some love for the manager, man. <laughs> And, and like I said, next week, I would like to have him here, man. Yeah, what an extraordinary person. Him, such wow. A, yeah, such a wonderful guy. Yeah. yeah. And so I was fight, he's the one I fought most because he was the one close to me. Close to you. And he's the one who stood by me most. Like, no matter what. I know you. This is not you. Wow. And we will get through this. Wow. From, so from um, um, when they took me to the police hospital, they brought me to the uh, police hospital. From Nima uh, cells. From Nima cells to yeah, the I police hospital. I slept in Nima cells for two weeks. But I was in, it was in section. Is it? I, I slept there first week. If not for me going to speak patwa to IGP, I would, I, <laughs> you went I, to I, speak like only one week. I, I spoke patwa. I will tell you. You spoke pat patwa there. Yeah, I used patwa to insult IGP. <laughs> IGP replied me with patwa. That's when I knew things were worse. <laughs> <laughs> so IGP made it, they took me back again for another one week. So he made it two weeks in myself. When they brought me to police hospital. IGP came to me with all the big, big policemen. He said, funny, this is not you. Wow. The very thing you are fighting for, your girls, your children, your children, you want to see them, you want to be your kids, you want to, you want to give them a better life, you want to grow up with them. You have all these plans. You will not materialize. You are defeating that very Man, purpose. That very purpose. You will die and leave these children. Mm. Focus on your mental health. Mm. Your sanity and your life comes first. For now, fight for your life. Focus. Oh, daddy, somebody at GP, I've been on your same say, oh, oh, the following day, the person made me feel like I was a dancehall artist. <laughs> and, yeah, I woke up, started speaking part to anybody. I saw the nurses with just even when they're not coming to me, oh, they are going to someone else, shout, hey, I tell are you nurses? Me see you. Me know what you want to do. You inject me anyhow. A bombu clat. Wow. And I won't even say the bombu, I'll just say bombu. Even the next matron, the all the big big <laughs> wow. all the big big nurses. Everybody was shocked. Everybody was shocked. I'll come and I will come out from the room and I'll start shouting, change me, change, change, transfer me, transfer me. I don't want this place. Transfer me. So they transfer you to where? Mm -hmm. You are the police hospital, VIP. Oh! I didn't even know. You know the following day, IGP comes to come and visit the people. I didn't even know IGP was standing in front of me. I was, like I said, depression galam say. Mako to be, me too depression good. I was down, 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 down. So what do you tell him? I saw IGP. I didn't see it was him. I said, I want to stand in front of me. Sing. IGP folded his arms. You planning to do me something, but you can't do me nothing. Me no see you, me no fear you. A bombo. You told him. Oh, IG, IGP speaks patwa. <laughs> Today this is the first time. Let me tell you, IGP. If you see IGP, <laughs> daddy, about. Wow. You are too much. And what did he say? If back? you see IGP, <laughs> and you are good. <laughs> if you see IGP and you think you are speaking patwa, you are rasta. My brother, that rasta will tear from your eye. <laughs> so what did he say? IGP, Mr. Ajibi spoke to her, spoke to her, he replied me. He said, I mean, bombo. 
we will see who is the bongo. <laughs> and you said that? Yeah, he called them. He said, Inusa. Take him back to Nima cell. When I had Nima cell, he said, hey. I said, I'll be me, me beg you. <laughs> <laughs> me, me beg you, you know bongo. And you said, me bongo. Go there. Go there. <laughs> That's, that's why I love IGP so much. Like wow. when, when I came back, I found my manager. I found my manager. I said, no, we need to go and visit daddy. I'll, I'll go and see him. Okay, I'm sure he's watching this program. So I just he... want to shake him and hug him. Because that was the first turning point before the psychiatric. And daddy, when they take you to sell, they, they took me to sell. I was shouting there. Take me out from this place. I don't belong here. The green food. I, I will eat. Yeah, I didn't eat. The green food, I will eat. Until the last day, hunger was killing me. Mm. Oh, they brought me food. Made in this uh... Many and people. One guy brought the food, came to, of all the places at the cell. This thief came to sit by me. The, the thief? The prepared banku and no cost to came to sit by me. You know, I have not eaten close to six days. Six days, I have not eaten. This guy came. He rolled the bangu. You know how they say about the bangu? I know I told you. He rolled the bangu. He carried the bangu like this. He used it to you. Then I told him. The guy was making me ask me, will you eat up? Because they've asked you, ah. What's with me? You say you will eat. The guy would throw the bangu, catch it, roll it. Roll it. Boom. Roll it. I saw the last one. The guy said, I shot the cell leader. The cell leader said, What is that? Wow. Be, 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 and, and you see, that's why I said I want to see IGP hug him and shake him and tell him that you are the best. He came to me as a father, spoke to me as a son. Hmm. But I didn't listen. I was gone by that time. And he knew. The other way we have to use. Let me take this out. This is my, my son there. One correctional point to correct him. And so from there straight to psychiatric too. So when I got to psychiatric, that's when I knew whatever I'm going through, I can fight it. Mm. Daddy, people always wear so. There's a guy there, he has crossed his leg. Every time I cross his leg, they will be <laughs> <laughs> wow. All the time. What? Yeah. What so when I, you saw him, what was going I through your him, mind? I called the metro. I said, Metro, I am normal. I am well. With the things I'm seeing here. Wow. And then, oh, there's a guy who works for the raise his shoulders like this. They call him Apelele. Like, when you shout Apelele, no, I say. Apelele. Wow. And I'm like, I'm with these people. Wow. In other words, I'm a Pelele Jr. Mm -hmm. And it got to a point when they see me, they, they come in. Senior. Look at see. Eh? Who's your senior? <laughs> <laughs> Man, my senior. I'm your senior. So all these things made me kind of like, no, I need to fight this. So going through all of this, you were conscious of what you're going through and you were saying, no, I am not one of you. I don't belong here. I tell you, this is after the Nima cell, spending two weeks in Nima cell. You understand? So, like now, consciousness is coming back. Mm. I'm being conscious again. Mm. So when they took me there, then I realized... You don't belong here? No, 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 no. But people there are mentally... It's still also... Mm. Daddy, when I went... When I got to the psychiatric, I noticed that I'm, I'm a baby. Wow. Hey! People are mad in university. People are mad doing their masters. People are mad doing physiotherapy. Hmm. Theirs is not just wire. There's everything has <laughs> disconnected. <laughs> me time. was me mind was two wires that got them. <laughs> the blue and the yellow. The blue and the yellow. <laughs> but them all the wires. <laughs> so I noticed that mine, I can join it and come back to life and use my experiences to minister to the youth. Wow. What would be beautiful, like now, like sitting down with you, like what would be beautiful, like having kids around you, having senior high schools around you and telling them about mental health, depression. And why they shouldn't go into drugs, why they should stay away from certain things, why they should take their studies seriously and get a better life. They will listen to you because wow. you've been there. They saw you go through. Yes. They've seen you come out of it. 
And so today, when you are talking to them, they will they listen. know they, they you are credible. Yes. What form would that? You are credible de depression ancestor. Like <laughs> 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 so I have this project I've planned with my manager and my uh, my team. We are about to do mental health in senior high schools. Wow. Yeah, yeah to talk senior high schools and talk about mental health and tell them the uh, disadvantages of going into drugs, doing like things that would make you depressed, having hope in something that is objects, hmm. objectifying things. Hmm. Because when that thing is no more there, you're, you're you, gone. You, you can't stand it. Quickly, but you, you never. Did, did you do drugs per se? I didn't Alcohol, do Alcohol, anything? No, 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 no. I didn't do drugs. But a friend one time. Gave me wheat toffee. Wheat toffee? We, yeah! <laughs> so he came to tell me that, Charlie, the way you are going through this thing, wheat toffee will calm you down. Uh, so he came, the, 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 the motive was very good. Yes. He wanted he to calm you down. Yes. And my system didn't know wheat toffee. I don't know those things. So when he gave me the first reaction, I, I went to Kaswa runabout. I was directing traffic. Yes! When After I, you took taking the toffee? Yeah, the wheat toffee. I was telling this side, come. This side, come. It was going well. I'll tell this side, come. Wow. I tell that side, come. It was going well. Even the policeman on duty, oh, they were all happy. Oh, fun, you want toffee? Funny, you want toffee? Oh, I'm here, baby. I'm not there to travel back to traffic. When they knew this is about to take time for the worst, was I commanded this side and this side. No. <laughs> 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 That was when, so, so, so then, now I have an idea about how these things works. So I told my manager, I called him, I said, Genesis, don't you see that? Knowing all these things now, mm. seeing all these things now, I can use it for our advantage. Mm. Go out there, talk to the youth about all these things, the dangers, the effects, the, how you can, like, because, take me for instance. I destroyed everything personally with my own hands. And it got to a point, I remember a friend came to tell me that, oh, don't worry, this thing too is spiritual. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'm not doubting that fact. He said, let me, I have a church in Mankesim. Let me take you to a church in Mankesim. When we got to the Mankesim Junction, the pastor's soundboard made me change my mind. <laughs> The, the pastor's pa Yeah, the pastor was <laughs> <laughs> I asked him, say. I, I said, <laughs> What's up for me? You are powerful. I say, eh. But that story, I'll leave it for later. <laughs> that pastor story and going to that church for prayers is like two hours stand up comedy. Really? I'm telling you. And that church? Let you, you know when they, you go to church and tell you that, oh, uh, if they are praying, close your eyes or a demon will enter you. Yeah. People know this thing. You go to church and say, Yes, I didn't close my eye. I didn't know. And so the guy, when the pastor talked, I'll talk. When the pastor talked, I'll talk. The pastor said, I'm not correct. 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 i am not correct from Mankesim to Kaswa, at one point I heard a voice in me. Hey, I'm what? Yeah, what? Don't show me no more. I said, why not? I said, I'm living for me, show me. Demo, Demo, come up here. You entered a depressed person. I did not notice from Mankesim in the back. Demo, no, bro. I said, what? What do you want to show me? I'm not going to see from you. Fuck out there. Fuck out from Mankesim. The demo left willingly. I'm 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 very 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 sad to to say that there's something called time, and right about now, my my my, my time is like almost there. So, Pacho, funny face, I need you here next week. Oh, daddy, I'll come. You can. We have a to There are more. There are more. Oh, Pacho, let's go with you. Tell him my story. Can take Can you come with your manager? I'll come with you. Okay. Genesis. I'll come. I'll come with you. Folks, Masuma. Funny face, and next week he's coming with his manager. Because we have to continue this thing, man. It has been so fantastic. But as I sign off, funny face, my son, Daddy. let me just say this, Charlie. I'm interviewing you, yeah. and we're having fun, but honestly, yeah. funny face. Daddy. Oh, oh, I love you. 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 Oh, I love you.
appreciate you have brought the joy to me and many, many, many people in Ghana. Thank you, Daddy. Who at one point just see each other, say, funny physical. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, I'll continue this when we come back next week, but I'm, but, but, but I'm so glad that you are here now. And I'm hoping and praying that stay here. Yeah. And oh, I will stay. You will stay. What, what I've seen at the other side Won't call you. of life. <laughs> yes. Never again. Never again. Rather, Show some love, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, what do you see? Never again. On that note, folks, let me sign off. But let me tell you, all of you, next week, I'm getting funny face back, but he'll come with his manager so that we can continue this conversation. But it's been so exciting. Meba, thank, thank you so much, thank man. You. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for you. having me. My pleasure. And, and I want to tell anybody, whatever you are going through, two things you need to know. Time. Time. And patience. And patience. Just have patience. Pacho, keep it right there. Next week, I want to start okay. it. <laughs> okay, folks, until we come back next week, KSM sending off in the words that I always use for the last 20 years. My chair TV show. Oh, yes. And what are the words? We are out of. Funny if it's not going to say, yeah. <laughs>